Hey guys, welcome back. I'm super excited to share my very first home decor thrift flip. I recently thought about doing this video because there are so many pieces that can become beautiful again to update your home on a budget. I had a lot of fun giving old pieces of donated home decor a makeover and hope you enjoy. It's been a while since I've been to Goodwill, so I was really looking forward to see what I was going to find. The first thing that I spotted was this gold magazine holder and I knew it had to come home with me because it was only $5. I instantly pictured I was going to be spray painting it black, so I already had this black shiny spray paint. We took it outside, let it dry for a day, and when it was dry, I added these dangling crystals I had laying around. I noticed as soon as I was adding the crystals that the gold was still shining through so I took off all the crystals and spray painted it again. It's been raining this week and it's very humid where I live so the paint didn't attach well but the second coat was good as new. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I've never seen a magazine holder like this before, especially with crystals hanging at the bottom. I just think it's the cutest thing in my living room. Here's how it looks styled in my living room. I added some books to show you how I decorated it. If you find a magazine holder, you can make it your own and have a unique piece that you won't see in stores. In total, this DIY only cost me $5 because I already had the spray paint and the crystals. For the second thrift find, I couldn't believe I saw this mirrored lamp. I saw so much potential in it simply because the base is mirrored and the details on it are super gorgeous. I was really excited to have found this lamp that everyone around me kept looking at me, especially since I was recording. It was really dusty and the lampshade was extremely dirty, so everyone around me was probably wondering why I was so excited for that old lamp. If they only knew that I was going to be transforming it into something beautiful again. Before painting, we added the blue tape around the mirror and I'm pregnant, so my husband spray painted it black for me. This lamp was $15, which is kind of pricey for Goodwill in my opinion, but it really is a statement piece that I'm really happy to have found. I love that I chose this color because the details on the lamp are really going to pop out even more. This was a great find. You will be surprised at what you can make new again with spray paint and your imagination. Let me know in the comments how you think this lamp turned out. The only thing that I didn't like whatsoever was the lampshade so I just didn't even bother to update it and instead I used a different one I already had. While I was done browsing for the little things, I looked at the furniture pieces and I was so surprised to find this one. You won't believe how much I paid for it, you guys. It was only $10 for the size of this thing. It was a major score. It reminds me of a bar cart because it has wheels at the bottom and a front glass door. I immediately wrapped up my shopping trip with this find. One tip I want to give you is to carry Clorox disinfecting wipes to clean your items before you put them in your car. This is the spray paint I used from Lowe's. It's the Krylon Metallic Silver for my furniture pieces. We covered the glass door with trash bags so the spray paint wouldn't get on it. I wanted to leave the glass door instead of removing it because it's hard to find a piece like this and thought it could be updated to look even better which I'll show you later on in this video what I did. Since we didn't sand this piece down, we used three coats of spray paint. I 
I really wasn't planning on adding mirrors to this furniture piece, but after seeing how simple it looked after spray painting it, I had to add mirrors. If I would have known I was going to put mirrors down, I wouldn't have the spray paint cover the entire furniture piece, only the borders where the mirror is not going to cover. After letting it dry overnight, the next day we added the mirrors. We always have our mirrors cut from Lowe's and it was $40 in total to get these pieces cut out. To glue the mirrors down, I recommend you using Gorilla Construction Adhesive because it's really strong and will hold the mirrors very secure. If you have kids or pets and are worried about the sharp edges, then you can add them sticks around the mirrors to give a secure border. Lowe's carries them in the crown molding section and they have all sizes but I always go with the smallest size. I'll insert a clip of a mirror dresser we DIY'd and showed how to add the thin sticks so you can know what I'm talking about. I will also leave that video linked in the info box so you can check it out if you're interested. This is how it looks so far and it's still a little plain to me so I went to Hobby Lobby and looked for some really nice scrapbook paper to glue on the shelves. If you come across contact paper that will work so much better than having to cut and glue these pages yourself. I didn't find any that I liked so I got creative and used this to spruce up the shelves and give it a little bit more style. This is a magnet to have the glass door closed so I couldn't remove it and instead I thought about hiding it with a little piece of rhinestone wrap. I also had this acrylic drawer pull left from my bathroom makeover and knew it would be a perfect fit to add to this glass door to give it a more elegant look. I added Gorilla Construction Adhesive to the back and glued it right on the rhinestone wrap pieces. I've had this floral vase for a while now and pictured it being black with white flowers in it so I got a foam brush and paint from Walmart to update this vase. I let it dry for 45 minutes then applied the second coat and let it dry for an hour. And here's how the last two pieces turned out. This is the reveal of how the wheeled cabinet turned out. I like calling it a bar cart because it reminds me of one. This piece is so versatile it could be used in the bathroom, dining room, or closet. I have it in my kitchen nook to show you how I have it styled. I love seeing how an idea can come to life and how it can fit into my home just by putting in the effort and imagination. It was so much fun sharing these thrift flips with you guys and if you enjoyed it too, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to make another one of these even sooner. You don't always have to buy something new to make your home beautiful. Instead, take this video as inspiration and motivation to help you get started into thrift flipping or simply updating any old home decor pieces in your home like I did with the flower vase. 
Your home can be a showstopper on a budget and I look forward to sharing more ideas with you guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to join my YouTube family and click the bell notification to be notified every time I upload a new video. I'm so grateful for all who have been with me since the beginning and everyone that is new here. My goal is to always inspire you and encourage you to get started on making your house a home. This concludes today's video. Let me know which thrift flip was your favorite and I'll talk to you all soon in my next video. Take care.